Hello lovely people, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are off to Paris in Fiddle Time Joggers number 21. Now in this song we're going to learn the second finger and the second finger uh, I want you to learn separately away from the music for now for a moment. And we're going to play the second finger on the A string and we're going to have it with a space between our first and second finger. So you have your first finger where you've always placed it and then a space away. So if you have a pretend finger, you could put it in between. Uh, we're going to have the second finger on A. So here we go, let's try it. Can you play that with me once again? And... what this note might be called. We've said in earlier lessons that notes go just like the alphabet. So if my open string is an A, my first finger is a B, then our next finger, our second finger, must be a C. Now this is a very special type of C and we call it C sharp. Why that is, I'll explain to you on another occasion, but just bear in mind now that it's called C sharp. Let's play A, B, C sharp once again. exact same thing on the D string. So again I'm checking over my finger line, I'm checking over my thumb so that it's nice and upright and I'm checking over my nice big tennis ball. So now we're going to play D, one, two on the D string and let's do that again shall we? Let's think for a moment what that second finger on the D string might be called. So the open string is called D, one finger on D is E, and therefore this you would expect to be called F. Now this is F sharp, it's got a special name just like we had C sharp on the A string, F sharp on the D string. Now if we have a look at your Off to Paris piece now, you can see this is also a duet for two violins. And you're playing the, the line that has the star there, so the top line, uh, and then second system again, the top line and the third line as well, the top line. And I'm going to count this in for four. We're starting on the D string, so check out your finger line, your thumb and your tennis ball. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I asked you what the pattern in this song is it's much easier in this song to find a pattern than in Lazy Cowboy for instance I'm hoping that you've all had a good look at Lazy Cowboy and decided what the pattern was there but here is quite straightforward the first line and the last line are the same and the middle line is the exact same thing except for you play it on the A string so a whole lot easier this time now I'd like you to focus on the bow all our crotchets here at the beginning, they're all played at the lower half of the bow. So I'm going to up to the middle of my bow and back. And then the minim in bar two is a down bow. 
Now I want you to really feel that these next two crotchets are on the upper half of the bow. Long bow. And again a long bow but a lot slower. One, two, three, four. So this piece has a lovely structure for the bow and you'll find it quite easy to bow it for that reason. Now because it's so easy to bow, I want you to follow even more carefully and precisely where you are on the bow because that's going to help your future playing as well. So let's go back to the beginning now. Let's check our left hand, finger line, thumb and tennis ball. Let's put those all in place. And now we're going to set the bow on the D string. That's where we're going to get started. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I would normally say to my pupils play each piece at least three times over every day and then when you play it three times over after the first playing you really want to think now what can I improve in this piece before you then play it again and after your second playing again you think now how was that and actually listen really carefully so that on your third playing you can improve it even more now the aim is that after you've practiced this five or six or seven times this week that you can play it off by heart. Something really special happens when you learn to play your pieces off by heart is that you internalize the music much much better. So you become much more familiar with all the techniques that you use and that's why it's so good to learn many pieces off by heart. So I wish you good luck really focusing on this piece this week and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye!